Right then guys, hello and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be predicting the Championship League table for next season. Now, obviously, as you can see, I'm a Sheffield Wednesday fan. This may be a bit biased towards Sheffield Wednesday, I know, but I'm interested to see what you lot, uh, you lot think about next season. So let me know down in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what you guys think. I think personally it's going to be one of the hardest championship seasons. To date, just because of the fact the teams coming down are big, big teams. Let's be fair. West Brom, arguably one of the old, uh, I think they were one of the oldest teams. Back in the day, they were very successful. Um, Stoke City, they've had a lot of um, success in the Premier League recently. Uh, but they've always been that mid-table slash bottom table club then obviously we've got Swansea City and they've been in the Premier League now for a long time from being like a championship yo-yo uh, championship yo-yo really from League One and the championship so like you said it's gonna be a bit biased towards Sheffield Wednesday and don't take this too seriously as we don't know it's only the 9th of June so we haven't had a transfer window yet properly it hadn't finished yet so we just don't know what's gonna happen in the next month right then let's get on with this championship review uh not review uh preview even so first i'm going to start with the relegation threatened clubs so just staying up so this is the teams that are just going to finish above the bottom three so we have wigan i think all right yeah they did so well in the league one last season i think they came top of the league the championship's a different step up so i think they could struggle blackburn rovers again just like wigan i think it's a bit it's gonna be hard for them i mean yeah they might do well sheffield united last season they did so well from league one and came up and caused a fuss millwall now this could be a let's say unpopular opinion but Millwall have had a wicked season this season but I just think it's gonna be a, it were a one-hit wonder and I don't think they can replicate that all right if they have a good transfer window maybe they'll do enough to uh, stay up but yeah, yeah again they'll be one of them clubs that are gonna be there and my final just staying up club is Ipswich Town um, I've never thought of them to be a amazing side they have a few quality players I don't know I just get a feeling about Ipswich that they are one of them bottom clubs. But anyway, this is my relegation. So who, which three clubs are going to get relegated? I'll go in order from bottom to top. So bottom of the table, we have Rotherham United. Now, obviously Rotherham, it's quite funny because they think they've got a rivalry with Sheffield Wednesday. Like, it's probably their biggest rival. To us, they're not really a... Well, they are a rival because it's a local derby, but they're not a massive rival that we need to beat. All right, we like beating them but it's not like a must win otherwise you get the idea they're not a massive derby so Rotherham I think will go down bottom of the table uh yes they came up from league one but yet again it's that jump and I don't think they're ready to make that jump yet Bolton um yes they just stayed up last season and I mean just on the final day uh, there's a couple of vlogs vloggers out there that you will have seen of the final day um for Bolton and let's just say it was madness. Have they got the quality to stay up this time? I don't think so. And obviously, then the last relegation threatened spot, I think we'll go to Sheffield United. Now, I know what you're thinking, Brad, you're biased, because it's Sheffield United. But I just think they'll be a bit like Millwall. One season wonder, I just don't think they'll be there again next season. And we would like to see them go down, let's be fair. Right, okay. Now we go on to the just missing out on the playoff. So, the teams I have here are... This is from, like, bottom to top again. So we have Reading, Preston North End, Notts Forest, and Brentford. Now, these teams, I think they are re really good teams, to be fair. Especially, like, the likes of Preston North End and Notts Forest. Notts Forest look like they're going to spend big this transfer window. Um, so it'll be interested to see what happens there. Uh, Preston North End, obviously, they're good at producing youth. And... I think they can replicate that again, even though it looks like they're going to sell some big players. Um, Brentford and Reading, uh, they're just them sort of clubs, aren't they, that can be there and thereabouts, all depending on what sort of start they get off to, that sort of stuff. So now, we are going to go into the playoff spots, which are the four below automatic promotion. The teams I've put there are Aston Villa, Bristol City, Swansea and Derby County. Now, that's reading upwards again so aston villa yes they are in massive trouble at the minute but i can just see them getting out of it somehow um 
they're just one of them clubs and obviously they are there and thereabouts every season but with the players they're going to offload this summer to beat the financial fair play and to get out of trouble administration trouble um i don't think they'll be able to challenge the top two bristol city um obviously we saw what they can do last season beating man united and stuff and having a decent run until about christmas time then they died off a bit beating wednesday 4-1 but we were rubbish so i can see them being up there whether they do well in the playoffs or not whether they die off again that'll be interesting to see swansea city i think swansea are just the more capable out of the three that have come down from the premier league i mean don't get me wrong stoke and west brom there are very good sides but i just think that swansea may be able to keep hold of their bigger players whereas obviously west brom you've got jay rodriguez then big players rondon that sort of stuff then foster as well and stoke you've got yanin shakiri uh jack butland them sort of players and i just don't think they'll be able to keep hold of them derby county um obviously they're there and thereabouts every season and they're known for being like the bottle jobs of the league. Um, they bottle it every season. Uh, this time, I think they're going to have a good run again. And I can see them making that push towards automatic promotion spots. The top two. Now, obviously, you are going to say biased, biased, biased. But winning the league, I'm going to say Middlesbrough will win the league. Um, obviously, we all know what they can do. We all know the power they've got. And, yeah, it's just... They're just too good i think for this league getting the second automatic promotion spot i'm going to go for sheffield wednesday here we go i can see the comments now i'm gonna get slaughtered but sheffield wednesday fans you know what i mean when i say that you know that we get two first team players back out of a possible 11 and we are picking up form we are winning games in a row i think this time with a few extra players like a few fast wingers a couple fast wingers even and a decent um, centre back. I think we can really challenge next season. I said that last time, um, but let's be fair, Wednesday haven't had the best season. I think every club can say that Wednesday have been extremely unlucky. Wednesday, I think, will really challenge next season, and I hope so. But anyway, guys, that has been that video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Even if you're from other clubs, subscribe because I'm going to be bringing more content out soon and it's not only Chef Your Wednesday. So feel free to subscribe while you are here and it obviously means a lot. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Probably which will be a World Cup, Cup vlog. See ya later.